Hello, this is Jeff Ryle from G4 Geomatic Resources in Houston, and this is the third of four videos. Uh, we're going to quickly show after doing the field operation, uh, we can do a quick traverse adjustment using the traverse application in the field. We'll take a look at the data and compare it to our RTK control points that we set with the UHF radio. So once again, here's a schematic of the traverse we ran. Once again, step point number one, backside point number six. These are RTK control points, traverse round. And um, this just shows what we shot in the field. Now we'll try to adjust uh, these points two, three, four uh, in the field. Okay, uh, we collected a traverse in the field. We can adjust it on board. Um, once again, if we go to the traverse routine, we just finished closing the traverse. We'll hit OK. Here it is. See its position and angle closed. Uh, hit the results and there's the adjust button right down here so we hit the adjust button we can do a compass rule we'll equally balance the angle and the vertical adjustment we'll hit okay and uh, our adjusted points here's the method we'll hit okay and what we'll do is we'll create a new job called 913 22 adjusted I'll put a prefix on those point numbers, say adjusted points, just so we know they're adjusted, and hit store, and generates that. And so that's how fast we can adjust. If you want to generate a report, we'll say, okay, that sounds good. There's an XML report, and that'll be stored under the data subdirectory that we can take a look at as well. And that's how we adjust the traverse on board the instrument. Okay. Um, what we can do is we, uh, we'll just compare, we took screenshots from that job. So uh, once again, if I go to my simulator, um, I can back back out. And what happened was we had this adjusted job that was separate from our raw data, and it's called adjusted. Uh, click on here, go to view and edit data. These are the adjusted points, and we just edited it. And we're gonna compare these uh, points that we adjusted from the traverse with uh, our RTK points. So once again, these are points we set uh, with our RTK radio UHF. And you can see down here, like point number four, uh, the vertical is 70.29, and point number four, it's 70.275. So it's around two, two hundredths of a foot. And you know, some error in the UHF because it's uh, fairly close to a tree. And then once again, horizontal 44.78, that's 44, that's within 200s. And uh, the northern 0.76 is 0.73, so it's 300s. Take a quick look at point number two, just to compare. So once again, it's uh, 41, sorry, 0.416 in vertical. And um, it's 0.39 here, so that's within 200s. And once again, 0.15, that's smack on in the east end. And 0.62 compared to 0.63, that's 100th. So it just shows that the uh, the error was distributed 400 through uh, these adjusted points compares, we just compare it to the UHF points uh, that we shot in and uh, looks very tight and all things spec. All right, so that just concludes a quick video on how to adjust the data. If you didn't have infinity in the, at the Travis application, you can adjust it. And these are now your adjusted points for your control and use that job as your control job to move forward. So I hope you found that beneficial.